Good morning, Mr. Poole back here, uh, teaching you today about dividing fractions with whole numbers. I'm gonna show you two different problems today. I'm gonna show you one problem where the fraction is first and you divide it by a whole number. Uh, the next problem, I'm gonna show you a whole number and you divide that one by a fraction. And I'm gonna show you both ways and uh, what the difference is in the answer and how it comes out. There's a kind of a little trick um, uh, that you can use uh, when uh, you see the answer. And there's kind of a, a, a little rule. Okay, um, the first thing is, I'm gonna use this strategy. Uh, I call it the KSF, the keep, switch, flip. Now flip really means the inverse of the problem. Okay, so keep, switch, flip, or you could call it keep, switch, inverse, uh, if you prefer that. All right, here's the, first, here's the first problem. Let's apply the keep, switch, flip. You're gonna keep the 5 sixth. So you're gonna keep, <laughs> excuse me, the 5 sixth. You're gonna switch the sign. You're gonna switch it to multiplication from division to multiplication. So keep, keep the first fraction or the first um, uh, number in the problem. And then you're gonna switch the sign and then you're gonna flip this 12. Now you have to be careful with this 12 because it's really 12 over one. So when you flip that, or the inverse of it, it's one over 12, okay? Does that make sense? Okay, so it's really 12 over one if you would write it normally, but you have to flip or the inverse of that, so it's one over 12. Then you simply multiply. Five times one is five. Six times 12 is 72, we're thinking, does that reduce down? It doesn't because five, only one and five go into it. Five does not go into 72. So there's our answer, guys. Here's your answer for the first one. So notice if you start with a fraction, look what your end product is. Look what your answer is. Your answer ends up being a fraction. So you start with a fraction, you end with a fraction. Now, here we're starting with the whole number. So let's apply the same keep, switch, flip, or inverse, and let's apply it to this one. So now this time you have an eight, so it's eight over one. You keep that, you switch the division sign to a multiplication, and then you flip the five and the two. So now you get five seconds rather than two fifths. You do the inverse or you flip it. All right, then you simply multiply. Here you have 40, and here you have one times two is two, okay? You can divide this out, but I know that 40 goes into 20, or sorry, two goes into 40 20 times. So that would be 20, or if you wanna divide it out, you can. You can do this, and you can say two, four, Bring down the zero, goes in zero times there. And then you have zero seconds, which would just, again, be 20, okay? So look what you end up here. You end up with a whole number. So if you start off with a whole number, you end with a whole number in your problem. If you start off with a fraction, you end with a fraction. Okay, the key thing to remember is keep, switch, flip, or you could call it inverse. Keep, switch, inverse, keep, switch, flip. Okay, however you want to remember that, um, and that will help you to get 
you're dividing a fractions with whole numbers correct. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned from it how to divide your fractions today. If you liked it, please subscribe. Thank you a lot for listening and have a great day. Appreciate it.